There was a very simple question which was asked, how much is 2 plus 2 to a doctor, to a marketing guy and to a statistician? And prompt came the response from a doctor because they, they are full of facts and they are full of uh, the knowledge that it's 4. The marketing guy was asked the same question and he pondered and he said 2 plus 2 is 4 but he would like to see it as 5. And the same question was asked to a statistician who huffed and puffed and then he looked here and there and closed the door and said, how much number do you want? So, my data, national database, whatever is being generated at NABH, <coughs> we'll go through this and uh, you need to keep the marketing and the statisticians out of it and definitely involve the clinician who are, who are giving the right answers. We have seen for the last uh, one full day that we often keep quoting the US database. And we say that there is no national database, so, but it's not true. There is a significant database which is getting generated. And uh, I think it's, it's high time that we need to get together in this platform and start sharing and start publishing. What I'm going to cover is all this. But the rule of the game is that whenever this data is presented, in India, there are two diseases. One, we don't do. If, we, if anybody does, there is we doubt and we critique. So, everybody keeps asking me, is your data verified and validated? They say, uh, how are you sure that the hospitals are sending the right data? Do we need to compare with the hospitals and are you creating the right kind of environment? Uh, if you compare, they are going to send the wrong data. Everybody believes that they are sending the right data, but the hospital X and Y is definitely fabricating the data. And is it statistic? The brilliant ones who would say there are two test applications and they will say, is it statistically significant? And we say that we trust our assessors, the NABH assessors who have been significantly trained. And then there are, uh, the, the 64 indicators have their definitions, numerators and denominators which are laid down. And we believe that the, the database is very uniform. So what is an international scenario? All this database is fantastically existent. <coughs> JCO has quite, quite a bit strong and robust features, but they also have this performance and accountability measure, which is very good, which I think that's the maturity where we need to go in, where they have heart attack care, heart failure care, pneumonia care, other than the, those usual clinical and managerial database. The Australian system also has 22 indicators, which also deep uh, dive onto clinical care and that is also very important. In the last meeting at Esquire Geneva, there was one big plenary session on the data management and then they are definitely facilitating people to come up with the databases. So what, what happens at NABA? So there are so many hospitals, close to 185, which are already accredited. There are various SHCOs, 13, there are blood banks, there are these PHCs, Ayush. So there is a lot of work which is go going on with respect to the standards building and then the accreditation. But the right side is a disturbing factor, that there are 185 hospitals which are accredited, but 115 of them do send their data regularly. Otherwise, it is erratic. Or, a, or every time there you have to send a reminder, a gentle reminder, a gentlest reminder, and yet the data doesn't come. So the key performing indicators at NABH is all 11 of them, though there are 64, but it was uniformly agreed that let's start with this 11. And that's how it looks. The distribution across the country of accredited hospital is very vague. So it's still stuck to areas around Delhi, around uh, Bangalore, some part of uh, Gujarat and Maharashtra and there are a big chunk of central and eastern UP where the hospitals have still not uh, gone towards the accreditation process. And that's how the data comes in. There are many hospitals which are in red which don't send their data at all despite being accredited, despite collecting it and despite the gentlest of the reminders sent to them. So as we compare our national data with the international figure, this is how it looks. It is a laughable matter. But I think a good start, definitely we need to give that credit to all these hospitals who are sending. Medication error at a 3.2 level at ISMP, which is the, the best data resource which was available, 
At India, it is 0.004%. So we may say that the, uh, it's zero, so they are not sending, but I would say they are not sending because they don't know. 